held back during the pandemic, professional dancers Roger Romero and Arismal Naya say their mambo moves are now stronger than ever. So this dance came out a little bit after all the COVID things. So it was like after being at home and all these things that were happening, like we had to do something like to unleash, you know, so much power we were containing. So we listen this music in the radio and for this first moment we love it. Their love of dancing has come a long way. Both Romero and Naya are from Catalonia, Spain. They took their first steps on the dance floor as children at rival studios. Well, we start when we are seven years old. So in the beginning when we were kids, we were competing against each other, let's say till we were 21, more or less, always competing against each other, so we knew each other, and then... Did you like each other? Mm, not really. Not really. <laughs> but at age 21, something changed. Timing is everything. Three, four. It was summer, and both needed new dance partners. I asked Karisma, like, if she wanted to, to partner up with me for the summer, you know, to, to make some money, and she was like, yes. And then we started dancing together in the summer. Then I work my magic and, and so we also started like a personal relation. That was 10 years ago. They say becoming a couple personally as well as professionally. Mambo's working great. Brought real chemistry yes. to their choreography. They soon joined the troupe on Spain's version of the TV show Dancing with the Stars. The couple also started their own dance company in Spain. But work was slow post-pandemic. One, two, three. One. Just a year ago, a friend in Rhode Island offered them jobs as dance instructors at the Fred Astaire studio in Warwick. One, two. Three. Romero and Naya say they were ready for an American adventure. So, 40 hours a week, they teach. Weekends, they compete in national ballroom dancing contests. For us, it makes us feel very proud because, I mean, most of times we are the only couple like representing Rhode Island. So this, it makes us just feel proud to represent all the community here that is supporting so much us. We, we always so, need to explain where it is exactly. exactly. Like this, oh yeah, the small state in the, in the United States. So, the yes. smallest <laughs> state, but with the biggest heart, right? <laughs> so this is what we, 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 we tell to the people. And they also like to show people how beautiful their adopted state is. One day, they drove by the Temple to Music in Providence. This was like love at first sight, because this video, we made this video when we just moved here. So we were trying to know our surroundings. And one day we stopped there in, in Roger Williams Park and we were like, wow, wow, this place is so beautiful. We saw the spot and we say, we we, need Yeah, to do we look at eyes and we said, yeah. we need to do something here. And then we create like this small, small choreography, small piece. We were there, we did a, a, a very beautiful video and everybody was la like, wow, this. I mean, guys, this is a nice video, the routine, the plate, and we were like, yeah, this is Rhode Island, this is where we live now. Living and working in Rhode Island is keeping them on the fast track. Let's go for it. And... As if instructing and entering competitions weren't okay. enough. Oh my God. They also no. practice their routines two hours every morning. Anytime you're passing your legs, they have to brush. This day, they are being coached by a familiar figure. Yes, much better. Tony Davalani. There you go. He's a former regular on the popular show Dancing with the Stars. And what do you want to improve? Sometimes, like... Don't look at him, look at me. No, no. Mm. He is so disciplined when it comes to putting them and through their paces. Warm. Come on, up, 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 up. I want, no, I want you to, I want that leg here. Big leg now, and pa, big leg now. Wow, pa, excellent. What's the most important thing about to be a good dancer? Mm. That's a good question. What's the most <laughs> important thing someone needs to learn to be a good dancer? Mm, I think practice, practice yes. make progress. Practice. Like, um, like you cannot uh, say that's gonna take me, I don't know, one month. 
no, maybe you're going to spend your whole life, right? Because practice never ends. For me, it's like I feel the freedom when I'm dancing because I connect with the music that is playing. Yes. The passion. We always yeah. have it with passion and with fun. And at the end, you always can finish with a nice dip with your partner. Ooh. And another dip. <laughs> and another dip, just in case. <laughs> And then you keep dancing and having fun. After so many years, just looking at the eyes, yeah. we, can, we can communicate, you know? We have a very nice relation. Do you ever disagree? Not really. Let's try. Forget one step in. No way. I mean, of course, sometimes we disagree. Yes, you were right. <laughs> I forget a step. But this is the question. If we disagree or something is not working, I mean, the fault always is mine. <laughs> And this is funny, but it's true. 90% of the, I mean, I guess this is in all the relations. 90% of the times, she's right. But no, but it's true. And we, ha and we really never have arguments, almost never we disagree. Their personal professional partnership has been a winning combination. Since coming to the US, they have won first place in a number of national competitions for American rhythm style in the rising star category, meaning couples entering for the first time. Ballroom dancing has changed a bit since the days of movie star Fred Astaire, and while Romero doesn't dream of following in Astaire's footsteps... You would like to be Ginger Rogers? I mean, if you, if you don't mind. <laughs> You don't mind? I don't mind, of course not. <laughs> I would love if you could be Ginger Rogers. When not dancing, Romero and Naya say they enjoy taking hikes along Ocean State beaches, such as Rocky Point Park, with their chocolate lab appropriately named Rumba. But beyond the coastline and the clam cakes, there is something truly special about Rhode Island the couple likes best. Since the day one we get here, all the community in Rhode Island, but most especially all our students here in the studio, they are being like our family. Steve! So they are always taking care of us. <laughs> they were always asking like if we need something, we can count of them. They were helping us out. They were always greeting us. So it's been like fantastic. They were super, super nice with us. And that kindness from Rhode Islanders has translated into a meaningful experience for these Spanish dancers. One that inspires them to always have each other's backs. In the last competition, after one of the dancers we did, I just, when we step out of the dance floor, I told to Arismel, thank you. Yeah. Because I was in, a, in some movement, like about a to fall. Bit out of and I felt like she was pushing to help me. After when we went out, I was like, Arismel, thank you. You saved my life. <laughs> and we were laughing about this, but yes. Show must go on. So exactly. whatever happens, you just need to continue. <laughs> and that's it. Yes.